guys, it's him and this is Brussling Unlimited. Coming up in just a week from this weekend, from this Saturday, is WrestleMania. Yeah, it's creeping up and it's that close. With that, I thought we would take a look at the betting odds for WrestleMania, a little less than two weeks out, as we do have betting odds from Skybet for nine of the 11 set matches. So I thought we would look at it, see who's going to potentially, if the betting odds are right or not, come out victorious, come out a champion, and so forth. But let's start it all off. We're not going in any particular order as far as night one or night two. So let's first say Johnny Knoxville against Sami Zayn. Currently, Skybet has Johnny Knoxville favored at a minus 225 to defeat Sami Zayn at a plus 162. And you would think, okay, yeah, celebrities got to win it, but... We'll talk about celebrities winning and losing in a moment. In this match, though, Johnny Knoxville, the celebrity, is favored. And I think that that all works great. It's Sami Zayn. He's going to be fine if he loses. It'll actually be better if Sami loses because then that'll just play up the Sami Zayn conspiracy theory thing. Sami going crazy. Sami, oh my God. Just like he did, you know. Last week on SmackDown, no, two weeks ago on SmackDown when he threw the fit backstage and whatnot. So I think Johnny Knoxville, being the betting odds favorite here, is probably correct. Speaking of celebrities, we got The Miz and Logan Paul taking on Ray and Dominic Mysterio. Currently, as far as the betting odds do go, Ray and Dominic are favored at a minus 187 to defeat The Miz and Logan Paul at a plus 137. Now, I think this could actually come down to them trying to make Logan Paul a babyface and that costing his team the match. Right now, they're playing it up that Logan Paul may not like The Miz as much as The Miz thinks Logan Paul does. Logan Paul is a Rey Mysterio fan from childhood, and maybe when push comes to shove, he ends up aligning with the Mysterios, turning on The Miz, helping the Mysterios pin the Miz, beat the Miz, and then the three of them stand tall in the middle of the ring together, something like that, to get the Mysterios the victory. So again, the Mysterios, being the betting on favorites, makes sense to me. As we move forward, we got Drew McIntyre against Happy Corbin. Currently, McIntyre is an astounding minus 1,000 favorite against Corbin at a plus 500. And what, 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 what do I really have to say about this match? Of course, Drew McIntyre should be beating Happy Corbin. I mean, especially if you need a big baby face built up going forward to face Roman Reigns. As we move forward, we've got Pat McAfee against Austin Theory. And this is one that I would have gone the other way, but the betting odds actually has Austin Theory favored at a minus 162 over Pat McAfee at a plus 120. You've got the wrestler against the quote celebrity slash announcer. And right now, Skybet has the wrestler favored to win. As we move forward, we got Edge against AJ Styles. Currently, Skybet has AJ Styles favored at a minus 149 to defeat Edge at a plus 110. Edge, the dastardly heel right now. AJ's got to get his revenge. What better way to get revenge than win at WrestleMania? Honestly, this match can go either way, and either man will be still fine. So, Edge wins. AJ wins. It honestly doesn't matter. In our first of four title matches that we have betting odds for with the SmackDown Tag Team Championships on the line, the Usos are defending against Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs. And currently, the Usos are favored to win and retain over Nakamura and Boogs at a plus 175. And I go, okay, if the Bloodline's all walking out with championships at the end of the, of the weekend, the Bloodline's all walking out with championships at the end of the weekend, they got to win. With the Raw Women's Championship on the line, Becky Lynch is defending against Bianca Belair. And currently, Bianca Belair is favored at a minus 300 to defeat Becky Lynch at a plus 225. Perfect way to do it. You had Becky come back last year at SummerSlam, defeat Bianca really, really quickly. Bianca can't beat her. But on the biggest stage of them all, that is where Bianca finally wins. And we complete a... September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, seven, eight month storyline. People say WWE don't know how to do long term booking, long term storylines. Ha! <laughs> eight month storyline that's going to culminate with Bianca Belair defeating Becky Lynch at WrestleMania. And for all we know, they keep this going a couple extra months and we do another match at SummerSlam to make it a year long build. And I think Bianca should win there as well. Bianca. Going big over Becky, that's the right move. 
for the SmackDown Women's Championship on the line, Charlotte Flair will be defending against the Royal Rumble winner, Ronda Rousey. Currently, Rousey is favored at a minus 500 to defeat Charlotte Flair at a plus 333. And I mean, what way can you go? Ronda's got to win, right? You can't have Ronda just come back after being gone for a couple of years, get a big win in the Royal Rumble, and then lose to Charlotte. No, you got Ronda. You put the title on her, and then turn, maybe putting the title on her can help them SmackDown ratings go up. SmackDown ratings have been pretty good, but you could always go up from where you're at. And finally, in the champion versus champion, universal champion versus WWE champion, unification match, it's Roman Reigns, the universal champion, against Brock Lesnar, the WWE champion. Currently right now, Roman Reigns is favored at a minus 275 to defeat Brock Lesnar at a plus 187. And you go... Okay, I know Brock's been around a lot recently, but maybe after Mania, he's not going to be around as much, so the champ needs to be Roman. I think the betting odds got that one right. I think everyone's going to say Roman's most likely defeating Brock. So with that, these are the current betting odds for nine of the 11 matches so far announced through Skybet. The only matches we don't have betting odds for is the Raw Tag Team title match and the Women's Tag Team title match. So with that, as we creep closer to WrestleMania in less than two weeks, it's like a week and a half now away, we'll have it for you right here on Pro Wrestling Unlimited. That's going to do it for this episode. Remember to comment below, like and share this video, like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe right here on YouTube.